there. In this video, we are going to be talking about how you can deploy your application on Cloud Foundry with a CI CD tool called Travis. Now, Travis CI is a very popular um, CI CD tool, and a bunch of teams use Travis CI. Now, how can you add Cloud Foundry, a deployment of Cloud Foundry, to your existing um, Travis CI deployment and CI CD pipeline? Now, in this video, this I'm going to show you how you can do that. But the first thing you need to do is to authenticate on the Travis CI dashboard so you can set up your project for um, builds and um, for deployments. Now, whenever you set up your project, Travis automatically creates a file called the Travis.yml. This is where we specify a bunch of commands for Travis to run. This will aid the deployment process even faster. Now, Travis considers Cloud Foundry is um, a first-class citizen on the list of supported cloud providers that it, that it has as a deployment option. Now, Travis supports a bunch of other um, deployment options, but Cloud Foundry is also a first-class citizen. Now, the first thing you need to do is to, in your Travis Travis.yml, you need to specify a bunch of commands. Now, let's move into your, our Travis Travis.yml folder. So, yeah. Now, in this particular folder here, what is basically, in this particular file rather, what is basically happening is uh, we're specifying a language. Now, Travis in, ensures, make developers ensure that they know the specific language they are, they are of the application they are deploying, um, they, are, um, they are basically setting up a pipeline for. Um, especially, this particular project, we are only requiring Travis to just take our project from GitHub and deploy it. Now, why I've specified generic here is because I need Travis to not perform any specific language operation. So when it's a node project, it might check out, check the package objection for if there's any test specified. If there's no test specified, this will run, this will go into an error. So we don't want that. We don't have any tests for our, this particular project. We just need it to deploy our application to Cloud Foundry. Now, the next thing is before deploy. Before deploy is just a command that should run before the deployment starts. Now, deploy is a job or a step that has been specified from the official Travis documentation on how you can deploy to Cloud Foundry. As you've seen here, I've specified provider Cloud Foundry, Edge True. Now, Edge True is basically me opting into the version 2 of DPL. So, DPL is a tool Travis uses to enable deployments to various um, cloud providers. Now, the username here is the Cloud Foundry cluster username that we specified when installing our Cloud Foundry um, instance in any infrastructure of our choice. So username is admin, um, password is CF password. This, of course, this password has to be hidden because of um, security purposes. You can set up a ENV file in the Travis the YML, um in the Travis um, dashboard. Now the next thing is the API. And also the next is we are adding skip SSL validation here because we need it because it's an IP and IP, we don't have an SSL, but you can always add, add an SSL if you want. The next thing is organization, sample org, the space, the app name, and a command to run after deployments. Now, this is everything you need basically to add Cloud Foundry deployments to your entire pipeline. This is everything you need. So how do we know if this actually works? So we can do that by making a very simple change to our code base and see, and make a push to our GitHub repo and see if this particular um, change will be picked up and we trigger a build in Travis. So if we go to um, nano server JS, we just change a very, very simple file a very, very simple part, let's see, um, as URL encoded data. So let's see, to node modules. So let's change this to folders, just for a quick change, just to demo this. If I do control X and I save this, and I do git add dot, then I do git pull, git commit rather, dash M, new change and I do git push. Now this will push to our repo and this should automatically trigger a build on Travis when it detects that the a change has been made to our code base. So if you go to Travis and we click on here, you can see the 
um, change we made automatically has been dictated and a build is automatically starting. Now it takes a few seconds, I think, to get it for the whole process to be carried out. So as you can see, it's building the, building the virtual machine, which provides an environment for the whole deployment and all um, CICD processes to run on. So why let's wait and watch how the deployment happens. As you can see, um, it is currently setting up the environmental variable based on what you're specifying in the Travis dashboard. The next is preparing for deployment and it's currently pushing the application. Now, while this deployment is happening, let's see how we can add environmental variables to our um, project. So you come here, you come to more options to click on settings. When you click on settings, if you scroll down a bit, you can see environmental variable. So how you can add environmental variable is specifying the name of that variable here, the value then that you want it to be accessible and of in all the branches of your of your code base. So when you when you are done with that, you click on add. So that is how you can easily add an environmental variable if you want to hide certain environmental related secrets of your application. So let's wait for the deployment to finish. And as you can see, our deployment has happened and our application has successfully been deployed to Cloud Foundry. So how can we find out if the deployment actually happened? If you scroll down a bit, you can see that the build here is passing. Now, how we can find the application route is to come to run deployment, click on the drop down menu here, scroll down a bit, and you can see the route generated for application. So if we highlight this and we go to this particular link, we should see our application running and deployed live on Cloud Foundry. So this is it. So thank you for watching this video. This is how you can deploy your application, irrespective of whatever type of application it is on Cloud Foundry with Travis CI. Thank you.